Kevin's birthday was in two days. Matthew Lane's blue tinted specs are not a fashion accessory, but a vital tool to help combat severe dyslexia. Kevin wants a horse. Matthew is 10, but has a reading age of six. Schoolwork without the specs was a real struggle. The words were like, um, all muddled up. Place a coloured filter over your eyes and, well, the world unsurprisingly turns the same colour as the filter, and that's it. But for some people, colour can make a remarkable difference. OK, Angela, just two more colours left. If I get this liquor back. Matthew's specs were prescribed at this park gate opticians. Colour has been found to help people with a range of symptoms. Most suffer during or after reading, and including migraine, eye strain, sore or watering eyes, a marked dislike of bright light, and print appearing blurred, typically a sign of dyslexia. Colour is not a cure, but it reduces visual stress. What it is is overstimulus of the visual cortex, hyperexcitability is the medical term. By introducing colour, you're calming that difference down, you're making it easier for your brain to process that data, and it makes it much easier to read for prolonged amounts of time. So where is all this visual stress coming from? Well, most of us spend hours every day sitting at a computer screen at work, maybe sending the odd text message from a tiny mobile phone. We go home, we check our emails, we surf the net, maybe play a computer game. Then, of course, there's the television. And finally, if we've got any energy left, we might even read a good old-fashioned book. What the use of colour seems to do is calm the harsh difference between black text on a white background. When exactly the right colour is found out of 100,000 available, it can reduce visual stress, allowing the sufferer to process the information more clearly. Colorimetry is proving particularly helpful to dyslexics like Matthew Lane. He's been wearing those blue-tinted glasses for four months. I've seen a big difference at home with his reading um, using the um, glasses. Um, I have spoken to the school and they also feel that there has been a difference with his reading. It's much clearer and the words are not blurred. Angela Valumi uses orange-tinted glasses. She owns a Hampshire preschool with more than a hundred pupils. Running the business is no longer a problem, but her childhood was blighted by dyslexia. All the words move on the page. It's almost like um, the words were at sea. They kind of move up and down on the page. But I didn't realise they did that. I just learned to live with that all my life. But I couldn't read very fast. Paradoxically, there are no grants available for children to be tested and given glasses in their formative educational years, whereas many universities, including Portsmouth and Southampton, offer discretionary 100% funding for students. The principal of Farnham's Helen R. Kell Dyslexia Centre is in no doubt that colour can dramatically improve the lives of dyslexics. At its most useful, it can be letting children see that the actual visual processing of reading can be easy. And within that, there's a great continuum from using something like this little coloured overlay to set on top of a piece of print while you're reading it, right through to having coloured lenses. Seeing the world through rose-tinted spectacles implies living some sort of fantasy existence. Now it turns out rose-tinted spectacles may be precisely what's required to see the world as it truly is. Hugh Kirby for Meridian Tonight.